So it looks like Cardi's new song of the summer is officially off the charts after just one week. I thought it was a grower Cardi. I guess the public and Barty gang have both decided that it's not, okay? By the way Barty gang, why did you guys let the song of the summer flop off the charts even with Cardi doing her own cut of the video? And in my honest opinion, things may be getting worse over there at Atlantic because I don't think Cardi has ever uploaded the same video twice for one song it was very strange okay but next up we have the biggest aka big lotto Nicki minaj's biggest fan and stalker she once again shaded Nicki by doing the hand gesture at Rolling Loud, indicating doing the booger sugar. She was also featured on a new song that went absolutely nowhere. I just have another question. Where are all the supportive jackpots that were talking ish in my comments last week? Please go and support Lotto's new song, all right? But on a lighter note, congrats to both Lotto and Jungkook. They both went number one on Billboard, and I believe this is a first for both of them. But next up, we have Tory Lanez who made it to the bubbling under charts last week. I'm trying to figure out how the hell is Tory Lanez still charting, but Megan hasn't seen the charts since Traumazine. Like, what is going on with that? That seems a little bit odd to me. But Megan did post a picture of the studio and she said she's back in that mode. So I guess the hiatus is over and new music is coming soon. So looking forward to that, of course. Next, we have Taylor Swift, who I don't ever really talk about, but congrats to having the most number one albums in Billboard history as a female, breaking Barbara Streisand's record. I believe I pronounced her last name right. If I didn't, sorry. Don't come for me, guys, but I just have a mini rant. But, like, does Taylor Swift have a convenant with Billboard? That though you say, if you know, release music for one day, one second, one minute, every hour, every week every year they tell you say if you know release music say something go have food like taylor let us breathe <laughs> make we breathe small somebody go talk say i be hit that but listen taylor swift make we breathe make we breathe small you won't finish us with all the music allow the people who never enter billboard to enter now what's in be this taylor you have gotten all the awards you have reached all of the chart placements you can reach make somebody else at least enter billboard 100 they go soon they do midnight prayer for you because you are an obstacle who does remixes of a remix who does different versions of one song and then just releases it and releases it taylor swift zoo kwani k and t rest i beg make somebody else enter the chat for once like rest let be poor breathe don't suffocate them we have that responsibility Y'all, Doja Cat is out of control and spiraling. She's currently roasting her fans that call themselves kittens, even though that's what she named them and refuses to tell them that she loves them because according to her, she doesn't know them. And she also refuses to accept the possibility that her boyfriend may allegedly be a predator, okay? In my humble opinion, Doja Cat is full of shit because you obviously knew these strangers well enough to give them a nickname. You knew them well enough to act them to buy your raggedy albums and tickets to your tours and you knew them well enough to ask for forgiveness when you were caught in those tiny chat rooms with racist white men we didn't forget that ma'am now all of a sudden you don't know them after you've gained popularity you've won awards and they've made you a millionaire you know what pride comes before the fall and this is beyond trolling at this point and this lady obviously needs help next we have Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice and their song Barbie World has sold over 500k units in the US. The song is also climbing up the Billboard charts this week, so look forward to that. Ice Spice also released the deluxe of her EP, Like, and in the EP, she did send some shots Lotto's way. She referenced Lotto copying her with the line, they pop up like cloning. She also referenced Lotto's put it on the floor with the line, she on the floor when I'm kicking the door. How you mad I do less cause you gotta do more. And basically, 
basically, Ice Spice has been coming back at Lotto lately because Lotto has been talking a lot of ish. So I guess they're officially beefing at this point. You know, the girls are fighting again. They are fighting again. Where is the female unity lovers at? Female unity is down the drain once again. Also, everyone is raving about the song How High and personally, I think it's okay. It is good to hear a new sound from Ice Spice. So How High is okay. And you guys, tell me what you thought about that song but the rest of the ep was pretty much the same it sounds the same it was pretty blah to me but you know it is what it is but you guys tell me what you thought about all the topics we discussed today and i'll see you in my next one